and Pico. My talk today will be about the role of ultrasound in the diagnosis of cervical lymph nodes. The lymph nodes in the neck are uh, one of four, either uh, normal lymph node, reactive lymph node, tuberculous lymph node, or malignant lymph node. Can ultrasound differentiate between these four types? Yes, it can. In ultrasound examination, we use the following to differentiate between the different types of cervical lymph nodes. Number one, grayscale ultrasound. Number two, color Doppler ultrasound. Number three, spectral Doppler ultrasound. Starting with the normal lymph node in the neck. Normal lymph node on gray scale ultrasound is hypochoic, oval shape, preserved hilum, small size with short axis less than 9 mm, as you see in this image. On color Doppler study, it shows hilar vascularity or appear avascular, as you see in this image. On a spectral Doppler ultrasound, the normal lymph nodes usually show low vascular resistance, I mean resistive index below 0.7 and the pulsatility index less than 1.5. The second group is uh, reactive lymph nodes. Reactive lymph nodes is associated with any infection in the region of head and neck and it is enlarged because it is trying to fight off this infection. So reactive lymph node in ultrasound. On grayscale ultrasound, it is hypoechoic like normal lymph node, preserved hilum like normal lymph node, oval shaped like normal lymph node, but it is larger than normal lymph node. I mean, it's a short axis more than nine millimeter. On color Doppler study, the reactive lymph nodes is predominantly showing hilar vascularity. Unlike also the normal lymph nodes, which you can find the hilar vascularity or you cannot find any vascularity in the hilar. On a spectral Doppler ultrasound, we show also low vascular resistance. As you see in this image, here the resistive index is 0.59 and the pulsatility index is 0.94. The third category, which is tuberculous lymph node. On grayscale ultrasound, the tuberculous lymph node is hypochoic with loss of its normal hilum. This is a very important feature of tuberculous lymph nodes without echogenic hilum. So it is hypochoic without echogenic hilum. It is oval shaped or sometimes rounded, but it showed sometimes nodal matting and sometimes intranodal cystic necrosis in addition to adjacent soft tissue edema. On color Doppler and the spectral Doppler study, the vascular distribution of the tuberculous lymph nodes is varied and simulates sometimes benign and sometimes looks like malignant lymph nodes. The last category, which is malignant lymph node, is either metastatic lymph node or lymphomatous lymph node. Starting with metastatic lymph nodes. Metastatic lymph nodes on grayscale ultrasound, the metastatic lymph nodes are hypochoic, rounded, not oval shaped without echogenic hilum, as you see in this image, and also in this image. There are some additional features. If you could appreciate these features in a lymph node, it will raise the possibility of metastasis, like coagulation necrosis, as you see in this example, which appears as demarcated echogenic focus inside the lymph node, or eccentric cortical hypertrophy, as you see in this image, it is a useful sign to indicate focal tumor infiltration or intranodal cystic necrosis as you see in this image it is common in metastasis from squamous cell carcinoma or ill-defined borders as you see in this image which suggests extra capsular spread of the tumor or it may be hyperechoic compared with the adjacent muscles as you see in this image and they have punctate calcifications this is common in metastatic lymph nodes from papillary carcinoma of the thyroid gland. Regarding the lymphomatous lymph node, on grayscale sonography, the lymphomatous lymph node tend to be rounded, not oval, hypoechoic, without echogenic hilum, and tend to show intranodal reticulation, as you see in this image and in this image. 
On color Doppler sonography, the metastatic and the lymphomatous lymph nodes usually show peripheral or mixed vascularity, as you see in this image and in this image. So take care. The presence of peripheral vascularity is strongly suggesting a malignant process in the lymph node as you see in this image. On a spectral Doppler ultrasound, the malignant lymph nodes tend to have high resistive index and the high pulsatility index values as you see in this image as the resistive index here is 0.85 and the pulsatility index is 2.2 so why the resistive index and the pulsatility index are decreased in inflammatory or reactive lymph nodes and increased in cases of malignant lymph nodes i will tell you why because in malignant lymph nodes the tumor cells are replacing a large portion of the lymph node leading to compression of the intranodal blood vessels leading to increase in vascular resistance leading to increase of resistive index and pulsatility index while in the inflammatory lymph nodes there is hyperemia with intranodal vasodilatation so there is a decreased vascular resistance inside the lymph node leading to decreased resistive index and decrease of pulsatility index so let us summarize our talk today. The normal lymph node in the neck by ultrasound is hypoechoic, oval, preserved hilum, and decreased pulsatility index and decreased resistive index. The reactive lymph node is the same like the normal lymph node except it is larger and always showing vascularity of the hilum. The malignant lymph nodes, either metastatic or lymphomatous, are rounded, not oval, loss of normal hilum, with marked increased intranodal vascularity, either peripheral vascularity or mixed vascularity, in addition to increased resistive index and increased pulsatility index due to increased resistance inside the node. You can raise the possibility of lymphomatous lymph node if you have internal reticulation, and you can raise the possibility of metastatic lymph nodes if you have coagulation necrosis or eccentric cortical hypertrophy or cystic necrosis or ill-defined borders or internal punctate calcification. The last one, which is the tuberculous lymph node, is rounded, not oval, loss of normal hilum, mated together with internal cystic necrosis. So this is everything regarding the diagnosis of lymph nodes in the neck by the ultrasound examination. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.